Good morning, how are we doing today? This is James Sweeney, aka Split Suit. Welcome back to another video. And in today's video, I wanna talk about table image. And table image is something that's very important. It's oftentimes overlooked and some people use it in very, very incorrect spots. So I wanna talk about it a little bit today. And to get started, let's define what table image is. And table image is really how the other players at the table would classify your play style, your strengths and your weaknesses. So if you're playing against other players that are thinking, it's very important to understand what they think of you, right? Just like you're constantly thinking of them and then adjusting to that information, other players are doing the same thing to you. But who cares about table image? Well, I kind of hinted to it a moment ago, but the worse a player is, the less they care about table image. The better they are, the more they're focused on things like hand reading and building your player profile, right? So just like you're focused on thinking about them, thinking about what they're likely playing here, thinking about what they're likely doing this with, and trying to think about, are they likely to be bluffing a lot? Are they likely to be very nitty and passive? Other good players at the table are doing the same thing to you. And once you can understand what they think about you, then you can start adjusting your play to make more profit, right? Because you're going to be abusing what they think about you and the tendencies that they think that you have, whether correctly or incorrectly so. So to make this a little easier to visualize, I wanted to share one of the key ways that I use this to my advantage. And this is with lighter three betting. So say that my image at a table is seen as tight and straightforward. And at some tables I will be, at other tables not so much. But let's assume that that's what's going on at this specific table. So when someone thinks that I'm tighter and they're a competent player, then I'm looking to bluff them more often, right? Because they think that my three bets are going to be nutted, that I'm probably going to be using like queens plus ace king, or maybe even tighter for some reason. And thus I can turn more hands into profitable bluffs against them, right? Because if I'm three betting them and they're like, wait, I don't want to give them action with this hand or that hand, or you know, I don't really want to give them action with ace jack or king queen, great. That means they're probably going to be folding it, which is fantastic. So if they're going to fold everything but like tens plus and ace queen plus, then you should be three betting them whenever they open with 18% or more hands. And that's a very, very easy thing you can do. And it's also very easy to identify if someone's opening, right, 20% or more of hands. It's not too difficult if you're paying a little bit of attention. So again, we're looking for someone who views us as tight and straightforward because we think that when we three bet, that they're going to want to fold more often, that they're not going to want to give action with more marginal hands. And if that's the case, you should be looking to bluff them with impunity because they're simply folding far too often. This is a very easy adjustment and very, very profitable as well. And you can make a lot of outright profit when you're looking for this situation in real time. And the name of the game here is adjusting, right? We're thinking about what they think about us, and then we're adjusting our strategy to do the opposite, right? If they view us as really loose, they're probably not going to fold to us very often, and thus we can value bet thinner. If we are playing really, really tight, they're probably not going to want to give our aggression action. Great, so we adjust by bluffing more often. So good players overall will adjust their view of your play style over time, right? So in the previous example, if you are constantly three betting every single time that they open, they're going to notice. And they're going to say, wait, 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 he's not as tight as I thought he was. He's actually quite loose. And then how are they going to adjust from there? Right? So that's on you to then pay attention to your activity levels, to your perceived image and your history against regs. Remember, people are much more willing to kind of remember situations where you aggressed against them specifically. So if you keep harping on one specific player, well, chances are they're going to remember that. And it's on you to be one step ahead to adjust to how they're likely to, going to adjust to you. But this is just one simple way that I use table image to my advantage. There's actually multiple more that I share in this free chapter from my new book called Unfolding Poker, and the chapter is called How to Use Your Table Image to Your Advantage. So there's three more, one where you're viewed as tight and two where you're viewed as loose, and I would definitely suggest checking them out so that way you can get a really well-rounded view of how to use your table image to your advantage. To get the free chapter, just go to splitsuit.com slash chapter 19. Again, splitsuit.com slash chapter 19. 19, download it, listen to it, and start putting it to use in your next session. And finally, I'd also like to thank my sponsor for this book, Unfolding Poker, BBO Poker Tables. If you're looking for a fully customized table, one that fully suits exactly who you are in the home game you're trying to run, this is exactly where you want to start. Start designing your dream table today at bbopokertables.com. That's B as in beta, B as in beta, O as in omega, bbopokertables.com. And make sure to use the code SPLITSUIT at checkout for a free gift.
And that's going to wrap it up for this video. Thank you so much for tuning in. Hopefully this gets you started on table image, but again, make sure to download the full chapter, give it a listen and see how you can really put this whole thing to use. Again, splitsuit.com slash chapter 19. Thank you so much for hanging out today. Hope you have a great one. If you have any questions, please don't hesitate to leave a comment. Otherwise, as always, good luck out there and happy grinding.